here. We were given a copy of the rules from the official source and we're following it. The restaurant behind me is under fire on social media for photos that showed what appeared to be a crowded patio over the long weekend. This photo of Shay's Corridon was posted on Facebook early Saturday morning and quickly sparked debate. City News cannot verify that these photos are real, but the person who took the photo did not want to speak on camera. The post called for the restaurant to be shut down because there appeared to be a lack of physical distancing. But the owner of the restaurant says they were following the rules. There is a rule that if you want to be away from another group of people, that's possible. But if you want to go and talk to people, it's not my job and it's not appropriate for me or any of my, my team to start questioning and making judgment calls on who's allowed to talk to who. If you go out and you see someone you know and you want to say hi, you're welcome to. If you don't feel comfortable shaking their hand, you're welcome not to. Like it's it's up to you to kind of manage your level of comfort, but there is no law that we're supposed to be somehow going and wedging in between people or, or breaking them up. Says Corridon has been fined twice for allegedly breaking COVID-19 rules. Each fine was just over $2,500. Richie says that the government sent him the rules under the Public Health Act, P210. It says that businesses can fully operate as long as they keep a two-meter distance between tables. Richie also says he thinks the government has not made the rules clear for the public. And I think the biggest problem here is that the government has done a great job of managing the situation. There's no doubt about that. That is objectively true. The problem I have is that the rules are not clear. The rules that they send me are not the rules online. And even when I got that ticket from the liquor inspector, he didn't even know those rules online. The original post tied the city councillor Sherry Rollins to bring it to her attention. We reached out for comment but did not receive a reply in time for deadline. In Winnipeg, Marie Gomez, City News.